This hack tip is brought to you by Carbonite. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down the concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm your host, Darren Kitchen, and today we're getting into some fun bash history tricks. Now, you see, in the world of Linux and kind of computers in general, there's more than one way to skin a cat, or so the proverb goes. Actually, on a side note, that proverb dates back to 1678 with the second edition of John Ray's collection of English proverbs, and then later it came to the States with Mark Twain's 1889 novel, A Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court. And some have pointed out that rather than a feline cat in question, they may have been referring to a catfish, which usually gets skinned before cooking, or the gymnastics performance involving passing one's legs over your arms or hanging onto a bar. But either way, I just want to make it clear that here at Hack5, we love cats. Alrighty, now with that all out of the way, our recent look into hiding passwords from Bash history spurred a fury of feedback, including this one from Mimi039, who wrote, to avoid passwords in Bash history, use this, export, history control, equals ignore space. And with that, any command starting with a space won't show up in history, so you just hit space and then ls and then boom, it's not there. How fantastic is that? Of course, Mimi039 goes on to say that you can also do this by setting export his, um, export hist ignore equals and then quotation mark uh, quotation marks and we can add pass, we can add wget and we can add ls and we just go ahead and ls and then we end that quote and now suddenly our history will ignore anything including pass wget whatever that's kind of a fun one to add so thank you so much for the tip mimi now the only epsilon alpha pointed out that only if a user were to gain access to a system during that session the password could be actually retrieved by echoing in our case dollar sign password and this is true, so if I do say password equals one, two, three, four, an echo dollar sign password, we'll see, there we go, I've got one, two, three, four, and that's why we should definitely use, uh, you know, we should definitely unset the variable with the aptly named unset command. So unset password, and if we echo password again, it's not there. I know, pretty easy, pretty fantastic stuff. Now Metalhead noted that um, he used the history taxi command out of force of habit when logging out of a session. Now the tac C option clears the history. Now alternatively, the tac D option will delete a specific entry from history. So if I do history, and I see every, all of these have a number, and if I do history tac D uh, 574, now I'll just run history again, and I'll notice that 574 is gone, except there is a 574, it's just been replaced with me deleting 574. How freaking crazy is that? Anyway, Fizzguard0 points out that issuing hist size equals zero will set the history size to zero and thus nullifying the history completely. And finally, Oversoft points out that dot bash underscore history, the file can actually just be deleted. I know, that's simple. All right, we'll be back with more in just a bit after this quick break. Computer disasters eventually happen to everyone, but if you get Carbonate Online Backup before your disaster, then no need to worry because all of your files will be backed up automatically and safely off-site. And getting them back is really easy to do on any computer or your smartphone or the Carbonate iPad app. You can access them anytime, anywhere. And with Carbonate Unlimited Backup for PC or Mac, it's just $59 a year. But if you use the offer code HAK5 when you start your free 15-day trial, you get two months free if you decide to buy. All the details are over at Carbonate night.com and remember to use the offer code HAK5 to get yourself two months free with purchase. That just about wraps it up for Hack Tip, but like I said, there are a ton of ways to go about this, which leads me to ask, how did you skin a cat? Actually, that, let me rephrase that. Uh, what tips, tricks, and tools are rocking your world? Hit us up, tips at hack5.org, and be sure to check out our sister show, Hack 5, every week. I'll be there reminding you to trust your technolust. Also, I have superfluous enter syndrome, so...